Hi, my name is John Coro, and I am the present mayor of Totowa. This year, the borough is celebrating 125 years, a truly momentous occasion for all of us. I have been asked by the library staff to introduce this video, which highlights one of our oldest residents, Mrs. Helen Cherba. Helen was married to the late Sam Cherba, who was the mayor of Totowa from 1961 to 1991. I had the honor and privilege to serve with Mayor Cherba as a councilman from 1987 until his untimely death in 1991. He, along with others, laid the foundation for the community that we all know and love today. The release of this video coincides with the anniversary of the opening ceremony of the Municipal Center, October 12, 1969, an institution that still exists today. The construction of this complex was accomplished with thoughtful consideration, knowledge, and planning from a devoted mayor and council along with committed board members. The dedication ceremony was a culmination of years of hard work and effort. Thankfully, these qualities are still prevalent today with our governing body, board members, and volunteers. The invitation for the event was sent to the entire borough and it highlighted and featured many institutions and organizations in the borough on its pages. It provides one with a true snapshot of life in Totowa in 1969. I am proud to say that I am a lifelong resident of Totowa. I grew up on Elizabeth Place, went through the Totowa school systems, and graduated from Passaic Valley High School. Together with my wife, Mary Grace, we raised our two children in the borough. I am currently serving my seventh term as mayor. Our present council and dedicated board members and volunteers continue to carry forward the beliefs and convictions of our predecessors to make Totowa a safe, affordable, and warm-hearted community. It gives me great pleasure to introduce the video that not only highlights an amazing woman, it also provides us with a glimpse into the history of our beloved community. Happy 125th anniversary, Totowa. Well, I'm Mrs. Samuel Sherba, and my husband was a mayor in town for 31 years. And here I am at 103, still in my beloved Totowa. I grew up in Little Falls, but, but I came from Pennsylvania. I was born in a little town, Mayfield, and we moved here when I was eight years old. And I lived in Little Falls until I, I got married, which was, what, over 70 years, right? I met him where he worked. He was an engineer and, and um, uh, Mac Molding in Wayne. At Christmas time, they always had a party, and, and, his, and his boss, he got us sort of together. And after that, he used to come around, and then we started to date. It was very romantic. Well, when we, when we got married, we bought that house on Harding Avenue, and we moved in after our honeymoon. It was, just, it was a quiet town. I mean, it was not like it is today. We, we were one big happy family on that on Harding Avenue. I love them all. I pray for them every day. They're all gone. He always want to go. He always call like my friend Rose. Rosie, can can Huey come out and play today? <laughs> he wanted want to pick him up to go for a drink. And when we lived on on Harding Avenue. On a Saturday, we'd all be working in the gardens, and Sam would be out there, and first thing you know, everybody's gone. What happened to everybody? They went to, what was something, mother something? They went for beer. And he was that, that type of a person. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I don't think he ever thought about getting into politics, but I remember we were, we were fix, fixing, after we moved here, we decided to fix the basement, and he had Jack Maskley, so, and they needed somebody to run on the Republican side for the mayor, and they seemed like, could, I guess, could get anybody because this town was a Democratic town. So he was kidding them, and he said, yeah, I guess I, I'll have to run. And they really took it, or maybe he really meant it. And that's how it happened. And he was running for mayor. They all, always campaigned, but they went to all the, all the homes. That's how he got in. He went to all the homes, got to know everybody. And you know, and sometimes the ones that were running with him, they, he would see signs on the house, be a democratic sign, and he'd say, well, we have to go in this house. The guy would say, what do you want to go in there? They're Democrats. That's what we want to go. We want to go be the Democrats. And, and he got in. It was a surprise. But he ran a good campaign. He loved people. He made friends in no time at all. They would have picnics and things with the families. They'd always have him come there. He met so many, he met so many of our people, even the kids. Hi, Mayor Sam, hi, Mayor Sam. He, he, he just loved that. I mean, he, he was not a baseball, he wasn't, didn't watch baseball, but he was at every game. Every, the kids had a game, he was at every game. And you know, he stopped all the, all the elderly, you know, Italians, because he would stop at the house and they'll always say, you gotta come. They used to make their wine. You gotta come, you gotta taste my wine this, this year. You gotta, so you know, he would go and taste his wine as he was going <laughs> campaigning. Sometimes he'd come home, he was very happy with the wine that he drank. I mean, I remember some neighbors, they would have no argument and they'd call him. You know, he, could, you know, he would, you know, I guess talk to whatever. They probably had a drink and then they were happy. They shake hands and, and he and we made, did a lot of marriages here in town. That he could he could do it. A lot of people wanted him to marry. So so once he started, he lo he loved doing that too. And he's got where well, he took readings from the Bible and put it, sort of put it in, you know. And, and he really made it very nice. He, he really enjoyed his, he really enjoyed being mayor. He was proud of his town. He's proud of his people. And, and, he, and he had nice, nice, you know, councilmen. It was really, really almost like a happy family. My daughter, she lived, it, it, she lives in California. She went, she she's a, was a, is a nurse practitioner. So we used to go there every, every year. We went to California. He, he hates to go away. He didn't want us to go anyplace because you gotta be around, you gotta be around. It was always was time to, you know, to campaign, time to campaign. Sal Del Vecchio, I mean, he was, he was in touch with him all the time. He wanted to know everything that was going on in town. He loved his town. He just loved his, he loved his job. He, and he wanted the town to be nice. And he didn't want, he didn't want anything. He was honest as the day is long. He was a good person, and I think that's why people liked him. He was a good man for his job. Everything was for our town. I never worked. After I got married, I never worked. I had to learn how to cook, so I stayed home. When he was going to run, he, 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 because he said, you know, you'll have to go to meetings and things. I said, I know. And that's what happened. After that, I had to make a life of my own. It was all a lot, because he was always having, especially in the beginning, there were so many meetings. And you, you get to do these things after a while. My friend said, you, you got to get out, you got to get out. So she said, you got to join the Women's Club. So I joined that. We always had like the dinners to, to raise money. I sang in the choir. I sang, I, I sang in St. James and I sang in Holy Angels in Little Falls. Belonged to the Mount St. Joseph's, helped the kids. And I did, 
I helped in that way. I got to know everybody in, in no time, and being Sam was always at meetings, I got to know them all fast. My house was always like Goldman House. I like, I love people. We always went to parties. They had, you know, families would get together and they'd have a big party. They would always invite us, you know, we want to have the mayor come. And it, it, it was nice and I got to meet so many people in town. Behind every successful man is a successful woman. And I've had the pleasure for many years knowing the mayor of Tuttawa, Sam Cherber. And uh, of course, uh, Behind Sam is his lovely wife, uh, uh, Helen Cherber. Helen, certainly you must have some emotions or feelings about this wonderful town that your husband is the chief executive of. And uh, what's going through your uh, heart and your mind now? Well, I'm just happy that he's mayor for this anniversary. And maybe I'll let him run again. <laughs> I get up in the morning, like 7.30, I say my rosaries, and I watch the Mass at 8 o'clock on EWTN. And I still, I can't see that good, but I still do some cooking. You know, I say I'm going to start, you know, having my friends come up, come here for, for, for you know, breakfast. It's just got, got a lot of nice people. I, I go to, to, to St. James. And the pastor, he's got that nice, but that's a wonderful pastor now, Father Mancini. He comes once in a while, he brings me my communion. And I love my house. It's, 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 no, it's not that big, it's just, and I love this room. I, I love being out here. The sun comes out early in the morning and stays all day. I guess that's what makes me happy. <laughs> Well, I, I think young, young people, you know, you, you can't have everything. And if you want something, you, you, you've got to strive for it. You, you have to study. You have to study. Because nothing comes, and nothing comes easy. And for us, you know, we, we couldn't have, I couldn't afford to go to college. I would have loved to have gone to college. Today, the kids have so much. No, when I when I was young, I didn't even have well, like now they have Barbies and well, I didn't have a doll. I didn't have not one doll because we we could. My father was a was a coal miner. He worked in the coal mines. As you know, they in Pennsylvania, they didn't make that much money. But I thank God that I've got, you know, what, what I've got. And, you know, and like with Sam, he worked very hard. He, he, he went to, 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 got his degree at night, and he worked during the day. He worked during the day, and he was to school at night, and he, he graduated with the highest honors. You can't do it in other countries, but here you can. You could be somebody. Well, the total pool, that was during his administration. What's now Wells Fargo Bank, that used to be the first national bank, that was their national headquarters. That was all farmland. What he basically did was he tried to keep all of the industrial stuff away from the residential, which is why you have that whole West End section like behind where Thomas Baking used to be. It's now a self-storage place on Riverview Drive. That's all industrial back there. He, he tried to kind of keep them, you know, separate. Where the municipal building and the library are. I remember when we went to California, they were doing some work around there. He said, don't touch that boulder. Don't touch that. Maybe what it is now, maybe that's what he wanted, to put the, the mayor and the council plaque on it. It's a lasting symbol, you know? It's something that's gonna be there forever. There forever. You 
people into the library. Be because it, uh, Sam, he went to school at night, so, so, he, so he was in the library all the time. And that's why when he came here and they had that little library, that was why he wanted a library. He worked hard. He was just smart. He was really, really smart. When I see all these things that the, the, he worked on these on these drawings and all, oh my God! Just to, to design something, you know, and then work it out. And so many times when they started, sometimes something would happen to the press. He would they'd call. He get out of bed three o'clock in the morning down to the shop and see what's wrong with that press. It's busy all the time downstairs d designing things. Our basement, one part of it is his room and he's got a, he's got a um, mold, mold there and he did all these samples and things there. Okay. And he would be downstairs you know, like for hours, you know, if something decided he would try something and he would be downstairs. He needed the powder boxes for Avon. He, he did some whistles and I, I remember he brought them, I think, I guess it was to the, to the comp mayor where they had a meeting. I think I said to him, take those things home. You want to give them to the kids? They drive you crazy, these whistles. He was a good person. He was a good, the old stock. We don't find people like that anymore. You would have loved him. He, he just loved what he was doing. He just he loved he loved being mayor and he loved his, his, his job. He was a good father. He loved his kids, his grandkids. And we had so many nice friends. We had was was just so nice. He had a good life. He enjoyed every minute of his life.